Hi everyone, this is my second tutorial on ArcGIS and in this tutorial I am using ArcGIS 10.5 In this tutorial we intend to create a Geo database and add to it some feature classes So the first step to create a Geo database is to open Arc Catalog To open Arc Catalog you can go to Windows and click Arc Catalog We can even uh, click on this on this option to our catalog easily to open it easily. So to create a geo database, select the folder in which you want to create a geo database. Right click it, go to new, and from this list, right just left click personal geo database. So the personal geo database has been created, and we can easily quickly just right click it and select rename to rename it i will be just be simple and rename it to geo database only so here question arises what is geo database what is personal geo database a personal geo database is a microsoft access database that can store and manage both special and non special data because they are stored in access databases Personal Geo database has a maximum of 2 GB. Additionally, only one person at a time can edit data in a personal Geo database. Now, our Geo database has been created. To add data to it, we need feature classes. To add a feature class, right click the Geo database, go to New, and select Feature Class. Now, here is Feature Class. To name it, you can write for example building because in a feature class in this name field we cannot use spaces between the words and if you want to add two words you can use this underscore or or just use the capital letters because in this way the computer can understand the names but if you want to just uh, uh, if you want to dis uh, if you want to display the feature class in a legend or you want to add uh, if you want spaces between the words you can uh, write the appropriate name for this feature class in this field right now uh, currently the cursor is in the field in which the currently cursor is active right now for example all right building one now the shape type of feature stored in this feature class i want a polygon feature you can select the line feature point a point feature according to your data but for this tutorial i'm selecting polygon feature and just we can just click z now in this step you have to select the appropriate coordinate system so for this tutorial i'm selecting wgs1984 coordinate system after selecting the coordinate system you just hit next now we can just skip this step and now this is a very important step in this step we add a field name uh, basically, we can assume that this step is very important step to uh, uh, in which we uh, describe how we can display how can we input our data within the feature class. Because in, in this, for example, the very first field which I need is name. Name is a text field because it can contain words and letters, words, letters, or numbers. The next field is building height. Building height is just a long number integer. Basically, we can use a double because there can be decimal points within it. So here it is. Now, the next field which I want to add is building number. Building number is usually an integer, so I will select an integer class data type for it. 
and what can, else can we write so in this way we can add all the data all the fields to our attribute table within the Jute feature class you can add as many as you want so I think I guess this much data is enough for our first Jute data feature class so after adding all these we can just hit finish as you can see I added a space between the building number it has shown that this field name is invalid so it has used uh, underscore between instead of spaces so I can just change correct the name in this way and hit finish now a very first feature class has been created along with geo database so I sum up my tutorial at this point and do want to and do watch my next tutorial because in next tutorial we will add data to this feature class and we will also draw shape files and add polygon features to this building feature class thank you so much for watching